depending on the narcissist you are dealing with, there are certain emotions that they will allow you to see, whether it is anger, fear, disgust, or happiness, just to name a few. Every emotion is usually to try and manipulate people or events. So today I want to talk about when the narcissist cries. Why would a narcissist cry or what would make a narcissist cry? Are they genuine tears? These are some questions I'm hoping to answer today. But first of all, I just want to quickly thank everyone for clicking on this video. I would also like to give a shout out to my latest channel member, Bernadette Denomi. Welcome aboard and thank you for deciding to support my work. Okay, so today I have five reasons why the narcissist cries. The sign of tears is usually as a result of being hurt, disappointed, or sad. But when it comes to narcissists, nothing is ever as it seems, as they use their tears to communicate and accomplish so much more. Crying is not a difficult thing for narcissists. It is something they can do with a snap of the fingers. We need to remember that they are actors and actresses who have perfected their craft. But when you know what they are about or what their tears mean, they lose the desired effect. So the first reason why a narcissist cries would be to create a false impression. This is where the narcissist would want you to believe that they are empathetic individuals. This is very important, especially in the early stages of a relationship. So they would pretend as though they can empathize with someone else's predicament and pretend as though it affects them deeply as well. This can be for both fictitious events and real events. Fictitious events can be something from a novel that they are reading or a movie that they are watching where the narcissist may think it necessary to try and convince you that they are so touched by what they are reading or seeing. Then there are the real events where a friend or family member may have suffered some significant loss or someone the narcissist knows may have died. The narcissist will use these events as an opportunity to display their false empathy. Narcissists know it is very important to display some sort of empathy and many of them have learned to do just that in order to convince people that they care about others. Deception is the name of the game and if the narcissist can deceive you into thinking that they are empathetic, caring individuals, then you are more likely to trust them or see them as a good person. So please beware, because the narcissist will only cry to win your heart so that they can later break your heart. The second reason why a narcissist would cry is out of pure frustration. This is a result of their need to be in control of everyone and everything, which is not possible, and the narcissist therefore becomes disappointed and frustrated. They end up shedding a few tears over their own misfortune or unfulfilled plans. This is the only time their tears come from a genuine place, but these tears are not for anyone else but themselves. Narcissists cannot handle disappointments. They cannot cope with losing control or being faced with the reality of having a lack of control, and this makes them truly sad. They are distraught when they don't get what they want or things don't play out the way they want them to. With their tears, they are hoping to gain pity, sympathy, and to basically get someone to help them. The narcissist's tears are only genuine when they are crying over their own losses. The third reason why a narcissist would cry is to diffuse an attack. Narcissists hate to be confronted or challenged about their behaviors. And if they realize there is no way of explaining their way out of a situation, they will try to cry their way out of it. 
Narcissists hate taking accountability for their bad actions and are always quick to blame someone else. But if all that fails, they rely on their tears. They are hoping that when they cry, you will stop the accusations and the blame and even give them an apology. Narcissists use their tears to end conversations that are not beneficial for them or their image. It is one of their ways to get people to back off and leave them alone. And they are hoping that you never attempt to do it again. And this is where it can get difficult trying to deal with real matters with a narcissist because they will use anger, tears or both to avoid anyone pointing a finger at them. So if they are in the spotlight for anything negative, they will use their tears to try and diffuse the situation. The fourth reason a narcissist would cry is to incite an attack on someone else. This is one of the reasons why their smear campaigns are so effective. It is because they become the victims and they would lie and cry to get people to believe them. This is how they gather their flying monkeys and motivate them to attack. The narcissist knows that becoming vulnerable and appearing weak will inspire others to stand up for them and support them. So although some of the flying monkeys are just as wicked as the narcissist, some of them are just duped into believing the lies of the narcissist as they play the victim role so well. Narcissists are prepared to say whatever it takes to get people to view you as the enemy. There are no limits to the lies they will tell to get flying monkeys, the police, judge or whoever else to view you as the perpetrator. The final reason why a narcissist would cry is to keep someone. This would only happen if a prime source of supply discarded the narcissist because many times they just move on to other sources. But this is when you find out how much you offered the narcissist because in spite of all the lies and abuse, they will cry their evil eyes out to get you to stay with them. They will cry like you have never seen them cry because it is important that they convince you that they are going to die if you leave them or do not come back to them. The loss of someone who the narcissist deems as a primary source of supply can drive them to become very desperate. Crying would just be the start. After that, they may hit rock bottom or resort to stalking that individual. But they do hope that their tears will make you stay or that you give them another chance. They are not crying because they love you. They are crying because you have something they want and they don't want to lose it. But to conclude, tears can come easily for a narcissist as they can be very useful. The tears of a narcissist are usually to manipulate or deceive, but we do see there are times when their tears are genuine. Narcissists only care about themselves, so they cry for themselves, but they will not genuinely cry for you. Instead, they cry to manipulate you and control you. Never let a narcissist's tears move you to do anything for them. Because as I explained in this video, helping a narcissist never ends well. But now I want to hear from you. Can you relate to what I have spoken about today? Please share in the comment section below. As always, I hope this was useful. Please don't forget to like and share this video if it was. Many thanks for listening.